I don't know how much in which degree we are breaking the love right now, but I believe we are. <laughs> Fuck that. With my friend Mr. Marfan. You will, man. You will. Will. Who the fuck he is? Hey, what up, shots? Today, as you can see, we are at about, let's say, 100 meters up? Like, say, no, 100 meters is like 70 or 25 meters? No way. <laughs> We're filming from the 2008 Olympic volleyball court, and it's been abandoned. We are right here in the very spot. To me, honestly, it's scary as shit because I, I'm not used to like climbing shit and all. But anyway, I got my medicine there. <laughs> well, I got well, my medicine. Well, let, medicine. Let, me, let me show you my medicine because <laughs> it's very important that 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 my my subscribers, my fans, they know what my medicine is. You guys, you see, uh, this is good medicine, good shit because uh, honestly, I didn't even know that I have this kind of uh, fear of heights. Mm -hmm. uh, let me take my medicine real quick. So I let Bryn introduce himself, his channel. So I'm Bryn. And I, my channel is Urbex Beijing Urban Exploration, and I bring my fans and other cool people to abandoned places, to so places like this, abandoned places. I take them up skyscrapers. I take them to haunted houses which have been abandoned. Abandoned bathrooms. Abandoned, abandoned bathrooms. alleys. Yeah, like, and like uh, we under bridges. We feed off. <laughs> <laughs> It only happened uh, once. Only once. <laughs> yeah, do not, do not judge him. I mean, he was drunk. To be fair, you yeah. know. But uh, and, it happened. And uh, you, you I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> I it wasn't, wasn't there. It wasn't there. I was not there. Though. It, it was the redhead. <laughs> it was the red. Uh, oh no! You can't, you can't. You see, guys, that's a redhead, right there. Yeah. And her twin sister. Yeah, those are the twin redheads that blew me. <laughs> <laughs> For you guys to see how cool this guy is and actually uh, what you could possibly do in the city you live in, you know? You guys just should get out there. Just, just get out there. Just get out there. Just, just go. Do fucking something. Stop just being on your couch and be lazy fucks pretty much right? don't like, don't sit don't, around don't. beating off to pornography no, no, on no. the Chinese internet although porn yeah. although porn is really good I mean, it's really good I mean, come out here and yeah. I'll take you to some of the coolest places and you'll be like fuck that was the best thing I ever did in my life I promise you everybody says that when they come out with me the best thing they ever did yeah, yeah. when they come out with me they just get drunk as you can and they see. say that's <laughs> They say it's the worst thing I ever did in my life. <laughs> but it's not my fault, you know, like I, I'm ill. They say, where did that pig come from? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just, a, it's just a pretty thing, you know, camera and all that big thing. <laughs> I, I, again, I was not there. I, I've been told. He, and I he, read the news. He just sold him the pig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. From my farm. A pig dealer. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about your 30 day challenge. You're doing a 30 day challenge. Oh. scary, man. Okay, so in the middle of Beijing, there's a place called Dongjimen, and there's two fucking massive skyscrapers there. Each one is about 40 stories. For the next 30 days, the Burbex 30-day skyscraper challenge. I'm taking guests, sometimes I go at day, sometimes I go at night. We're dodging the security, we're like looking over the edge, dropping shit off the skyscrapers. No, that wasn't me. Uh, and. <laughs> We're just going up there and having fun. And I promise you that those are the best views of Beijing. You can go to these shitty restaurants which are high up and you can pay 500 yuan to have a meal up there and look outside. But I promise you, my views of Beijing are the best in Beijing. So tune in to the Beijing 30 Day Skyscraper Challenge and make sure you subscribe to Burbex. Beijing Urban Exploration. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. How would you sum up your life in China? Living in China is freedom. There you go, shots. <laughs> you hear the man. How about you, dude? Living in China for me is... <laughs> we are creative, passionate, stubborn motherfuckers. Don't complain about shit, get shit done. That's my right. attitude. Step up, stand up, and keep fucking going. I like that. Step up, right. stand up, keep fucking going. That's it. That's yeah. all, guys. That's it. 
Something else you want to add up? No, I think that's pretty tight. And I hope more and more people out there, no matter where they are from, everyone, just get to know. I, I know this is going to sound like very cliche, but get to know the real China, at least through our eyes. Yeah, through our eyes. That's what you're going to find with any other YouTuber out there. China, the real China through their eyes. That's okay too, because we all see life different. Shots off for me. Shall we wrap it up now? He's been Mr. Marfan. He's been Burbix. Don't, Don't forget, forget to smile. smile. <laughs> You've been made, Billy. So, let's see this right. shit. So, what's the name of the challenge? I <laughs> lost <laughs> <laughs> my horse bit. <laughs> you want some medicine? No, that's all right. Fuck that. Uh, <laughs> abandoned. Uh, 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 <laughs> I've been doing the Burbex. What did I call it? Burbex 30 days. I've been doing the Burbex. 30 days, right? Mada, ino chika arumono, sore wa motte kaeru ga ii!